In this Ubuntu video tutorial, we will be looking at Firefox 4 Beta and how to install it. The first thing we're going to want to do is launch the terminal from the Applications menu. And once we have it loaded, let's push it over to the second desktop. We can do this by holding Control alt shift and using our right arrow key. Now we've got this text pad open and what we're going to do with it is we have some text. Now you can find this text in the description of the video at ubuntuvideotutorials.org. It'll be right where the video is. And you can and copy it from there. So we're just going to copy it from here for now. And we're we'll head over to the terminal again. We're going to paste it in there and hit enter. And you have to enter your password to authenticate the step, as always. Add a couple lines of text. You don't have to understand it. Just switch back to the text, whatever, wherever you're copying it from. Then copy sudo apt-get update. You can just type this in if you want. And paste it into the terminal. Hit enter. This will refresh the repository so we can install it right away. Now let's switch back onto the text. Copy sudo apt-get install Firefox-4.0 paste that right into the terminal hit enter. I'm going to mess up here and hit some funny key and it's going to abort so I'll have to do that twice. But and You have to say yes, hit Y and hit enter. So then I'll begin downloading and installing Firefox 4 Beta. Once it's finished installing, you can close the terminal and let's go ahead and launch Firefox 4 Beta from the Applications menu. Now is it going to look like Firefox 4 Beta in the menu? No, it's not. It's going to look like Minefield 4.0 Web Browser. And just drag that onto the desktop and we can mess around with that later by going to Properties to make it look like Firefox at least. But for now we're just going to look at the core features of Firefox 4. So we're just going to launch it. Say check now. Probably won't find the updates until later. And click finish. Now you want to use this as your default web browser? Probably not, seeing that it's still not quite stable. So choose no. And then you might have an error because it can't find the page. Just close it. Alright, now that we're home page and we're going to take a look at a couple new features of Firefox 4 Beta. One of the features is going to require us to open a couple of tabs. So first I'm just going to add my bookmarks bar because I like it there. Add the bookmarks drop down by the way, which is new to Firefox 4. All right, add a couple tabs, a couple blogs I read, my blog the Ubuntu homepage. Alright, now we have enough. Now look over here for this little button. It's called Group Your Tabs. This is the tab panorama. Now I can just close that video. I'll explain it. Alright, so basically it's a way to arrange and manage tons and tons of tabs. So if you have 32 tabs open with this, it's not going to be a problem. Whereas before you'd have to scroll across this way, scroll back this way, and you'd lose stuff in your tabs. This way you can manage it quite easily and I'll show you why. So I just give a name to a panorama. So we have our little panorama here with the two tabs. Resize it the way you want it. And click onto other things. And just drag another one onto the other one to create another one. So here we're going to look at this and we're going to take a look at how it works. So look, this one little panorama with one tab in it only shows one tab, but we have three tabs open. And now we're just going to open another blog and we're going to see what happens when we go back to the tab panorama. We're going to see, oh wait, now we have another panorama with two little tabs in it. And our lonely little duck duck go search engine in the corner. give that a name 
and we're going to take start taking a look why this is so useful. So I even get lost at five tabs. Before Firefox, I wouldn't be even be able to use multiple tabs and things like Internet Explorer back on Windows. But with this, this makes me able to use 10, 20 tabs at once. Now, we just looked at the app tab option. Now, you can look at my blog and you right-click on the tab and you right-click and say, make into app tab. And any panorama you go into, you can switch back into that and make reference off of it. So that works for anything. It will always open. So you might want to use this with your favorite music service online like Pandora or Last.fm. And it works pretty well, actually.